everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and today I have a package and it was sent to me in another black mailing envelope but I've already taken that off and I have not opened this up yet so I'm not real sure what is in this package. I do have my suspicions and I'm going to be super excited if it's what I think it is. And I'm just gonna go ahead now and apologize if I get emotional. You will see why in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this tube out of the packaging. And so let's look at this to begin with. So we've got a nice sturdy tube carton. Oh! It is what I thought it was gonna be because it's from Anna Banana. So y'all, this is my Christmas present from the owner of Anna Banana. And you guys wanna talk about being humbled is when the owner of the company says, Melanie has so many nice things to say about us that you know, I want to give her something special for Christmas. So this is my early Christmas present. And Josh at Anna Banana kind of gave me a little heads up about that it, there was a package coming. So I'm not exactly sure what the contents are, but I'm super excited. Okay, so let's just keep moving, right? Wow, wow. Okay, so they have a new brush set. We will open this and I might review this separately, but nice. Oh, I'm already looking at the brush tips and I'm loving the brush tips. So we'll try these out on a different video, but I'm excited about that. So I have the new brush sets that I've heard about that are coming with the um, tubed kits and I had not seen them yet. So fantastic. We'll use those today to swatch and everything. All right, so, oh, I got more stuff down in here. Oh my goodness, it's like Christmas for real. You guys, oh my God. Okay, so here is another set of amazing brushes. And these look a little different. Yeah, they are a little different. So awesome. Okay, I'm gonna talk about brushes later. I'm gonna do those in a video because those deserve to have their own video. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm excited. Look at how many paints I have. We are gonna talk about this is a 48 paint custom. So let's look, I'm gonna lay them out in order because I'm OCD like that. I know y'all probably are too. A lot of you be like, put them in order. My eye is twitching. <laughs> okay, so here are the magnificent brushes that are coming with these nicer sets. We have a flat brush and you guys, I love, and I'm gonna get it back in shape in a minute, but I love the triangular handle. There's so much kind of like ergonomic uh, when you're painting, especially when you're painting for a long time. So I really love that. And let's look at the other two. So what we have here is a one round brush, which is what I use most of the time when I'm not doing super detailed work. I use the number two round is the other one for larger openings. And then the flat I use for larger openings. So these can be used for smaller openings too especially the one. I'm gonna move these paints out of the way and I'm gonna open this canvas and I'm, I'm just warning you now, I am going to cry, okay? So I'm gonna try not to, but all right, let's look. And it's got a reference guide, hallelujah. And it is a smaller size. Hallelujah again. This is a 12 by 16 inch painting when it's complete because it's a 30 by 40 centimeter. And a 12 by 16 inch is a, um, it's not an exact measurement that is just rounded up to the nearest inches. So uh, it's a little shy of being a 12 by 16 completely, but I call it a 12 by 16 because that's what I would do if I had to go frame it. And so I have my reference guide. Uh, let's see what this is here. Information of thanking me and giving me a coupon for my next custom order. And this is the image, you guys.
Now you see why this is so special and it is such an amazing Christmas present. That is my son who died. That's Logan. And um, so back when I was talking with Anna Banana and they asked me if they could send me a custom piece. They asked me to send them some photos. And I sent them, I think I sent them like five or six photos. I've already forgotten now. But this was one of the photos I sent them. And they chose this one to do in a 48 paint custom piece. So there'll be a lot of detail. And it's just going to be gorgeous. I'm super excited. Super duper excited. Okay, I'm refraining. I'm refraining from crying. And the good, the reason is, is because as a paint by number, it's a little more abstract looking like this than it is when I see the photo. When I put the photo in there, it's gonna break my heart. Like, he's just such a handsome young man. This was when he was 18 and was going to prom. And uh, just a great picture. He's dressed up in his tux, looking sharp, you know, and um, he died five years later, but with the exception of facial hair, he looked very much the same. So anyway, let's move on. Um, I'm gonna swatch these paints. Oh, let's talk about the canvas. I'm sorry, I got totally distracted, so sorry. So this is a slick surface and I'm definitely gonna gesso. You guys, I talk about this all the time. I gesso every painting except the ones on the board. I haven't, uh, I don't wanna speak to that. I do know they warp, but a lot of people have said after they put their gesso on those board type canvases, they'll lay it flat and it goes back to shape. But I have not gotten to that point yet, so I'm not gonna say that. But I definitely gesso every single canvas now with clear gesso, one layer, if not two or three. Now, people ask me all the time, how do you know how many layers of gesso? It is not an exact science. I cannot tell you what you're gonna end up wanting to do with your piece, but I'm gonna tell you the reason I put one or two. So I'm only trying to put enough gesso that will fill in the little canvas divots, is what I call them. So if I put one layer and I feel like I don't have any of the little canvas divots showing, I leave it at one layer. And I do not sand, you guys, if you sand, you're defeating the purpose. So I do not sand between layers. I tried that once, it was an epic fail. I did not like the texture, it lost the toothiness, and we don't want that. So if this needs two layers, which I don't think it's going to need, then I could put another layer on it. But if I can see that it's flat with the first layer, I don't have to put a second layer. That's just wasteful. You don't have to do it. So let's go, go on. This is the linen canvas. It is, people talk about the thinness and the thickness of a canvas. The thickness of a canvas does not make the quality of the canvas better or, you know, or worse. It just makes it different. So there, this one was folded instead of being rolled to put in that tube. I'm not sure why that happened, but once I tape it down to my board and gesso this, which is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and tape it to the board. And I actually am gonna come back and do a video on, I just thought about this. I'm gonna come back and do a video prepping this piece from beginning to when I start painting it, okay? So you guys can see my step-by-step -step, you know, process for prepping. But anyway, so this one, I'm not gonna try to iron it first. I'm going to stretch it on a, a sketch board and pull it, and that way it will get out that folded line. All right, let's talk about these paints. I'm gonna grab two of my, di my digital swatch guides, so I have 48 swatch paint pots, and I'm gonna swatch these paints, and I'm coming back, and we're gonna talk about how these paints look, because that's what it's all about, right? Okay, I'll be back. So I am back. I have swatched all 48 of these colors and let's talk about what I have found. So these paints, as always, are incredible as far as the coverage. There are no transparent or semi-opaque ones on this sheet at all. There are, the only one on this sheet that is probably gonna be transparent is this green, it's that limey green. And you know how that one's tricky, it's like a kiwi green almost. And this one I put a very thin layer on, so I'm not real sure how that's gonna be when it's actually on the canvas, but y'all, that's it. This reddish color is uh, semi-opaque as well. I, I forgot this one too, so. But out of 48 colors, like five of them are not opaque. 
So that is incredible. So that is it, you guys. The next video I record will be how I prep a piece from beginning to the point where I'm working on it. And so you guys, don't forget to join me for that. And I will see you back soon. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. And go join me on Patreon where I give my members exclusive videos that you won't see anywhere else and lots of other perks. So I will see you on Patreon and I will see you back soon. Thanks as always for watching.